Hi everyone, today we're talking about equivalent fractions. Remember that equivalent fractions represent the same value even though they have different numbers. For instance, here we have two pans of brownies. One says it's two-thirds of the pan and the other one says it's four-sixths of the pan. Well, if I could make that two-thirds into six, I could easily see that they are both four-sixths. But it's time to learn a new way to do this. And that's going to be by creating a common denominator. Here we have a six on the bottom. If I had a six on the bottom over here, they'd be much easier to compare. Well, how can I make that happen? I'll need to multiply two-thirds by a fraction equivalent to one. And that just means that we're going to multiply the top and bottom by the same number. So now you see that four-sixths is equivalent to two-thirds. Here we have three-fourths of a cookie and six-eighths of a cookie. And by the models, I can tell those look like the same amount. But again, let's see if we can prove that to ourselves. I have an eight on the denominator here. If I could have an eight over here, that would be super helpful. So I could multiply this four by a two. Remember, what we're really doing is multiplying by two over two. So we end up with six eighths, and you can see it's equivalent to three fourths. Here I have three sixths of a cake and two fourths of a cake. And they both look like half the cake, but let's prove this to ourselves. Is there a common multiple of six and four? How about 12? If I had a 12 on the bottom of both of these, it would be much easier to look at. So let's multiply top and bottom here and see that the cake on the left is six twelfths. On the right, I'm gonna need to multiply top and bottom by three which also gives me six twelfths. So three six, two fourths, and six twelfths are all equivalent fractions. Here I'm looking for fractions equivalent to two six. Is one third equivalent to two six? Well, how could I get from three to six? I would need to multiply by two. If I multiply the three by a two, I also need to multiply the one by a two, and yes, this is an equivalent set of fractions. How about 20 thirtieths? Let's write that down here so you can see a little better. Is 2 6 equal to 20 thirtieths? Well, how do I get from 6 to 30? I multiply by 5. If I multiply 2 by 5, I get 10, not 20. That middle one is not correct. Okay, one last one. Is 2 6 equivalent to three nines. Well, that six and nine are a little hard to compare. It might be nice if I used a common multiple, like 18. Now, how did I get from six to 18? I multiply by three, top and bottom, so that's six eighteenths. On the right, how did I get from nine to 18? I multiplied by two. So what I do to the bottom, I do to the top, and now you see that three ninths and two six and six eighteenths are all equivalent fractions. Okay, now it's your turn.